Chief Minister Bobby says legal actions being initiated against arrested UNC President and Publicity Secretary. Forest Minister Hemochandra stresses importance of people's role in saving Sangai. First Manipur Thai Business Summit and Business Matching held as a part of Sangai Festival. And Australia beat England 6-3 in 10th Manipur Polo International. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Thangtam with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Chief Minister Okrami Bobi today stated that legal actions are being initiated against the arrested UNC President Gaidon Kamei and Information and Publicity Secretary Stephen Lamkang. Ibobi categorically stated that the government will take action not only against the United Naga Council, which is imposing indefinite economic blockade on the national highways, but every person involved in it. The Chief Minister this morning flagged off 11 ambulances sponsored by Power Grid Corporation of India, PGCI under the Corporate Social Responsibility, CSR, initiative of the corporation from the Kangla. In a speech at the event, the Chief Minister said, the present issue is sensitive. It will be maintained that the government did not take security measures along the Imphal Dimapur Road as it might cause harm to people who are unwillingly supporting the anti-social element organizations due to fear. He said efforts are being made to transport essential goods on Imphal Silcher Road in consultation with the center. He also said around 500 vehicles carrying goods arrived in Imphal yesterday. The ambulances which are fitted with basic life support for emergency services will be used in primary health centers at Kaupum, Oinamlong, Nungba, None, Tengnaupal, Tadubi, Kumbong, Ziribam Sub-District Hospital and District Hospitals in Bishnupur, Tamenglong and Thaupal. Anti-social elements in China mobilized or ga. Hey, Lambi is data. The piece of me, some of the cotton at the moody palm di palm dava. Lay her the acquaintance of Panku, Puba, no me had a carpet to Yadido. Adugumba, Kra Yamna, sensitive way, but is so labor. I don't know, Koy Hose, Yaribumke, rainy season, Lagadi Kangre, I do not regard the Koy alternative lifeline, say, impulse, say, maximum a Koy. Uh, nearly 500 trucks, including petroleum products. In the meantime, Anti-social Forest and Environment Minister I. Hemochandra today stressed the importance of people's role in saving the Sangai. He said it will be a great loss for the people if Sangai becomes extinct. He maintained that the government alone cannot protect the Sangai. It is a common responsibility of the government and the people to save the endangered animal. The minister was speaking at the concluding day of the treaty international workshop on Else, Deer Conservation at Hotel Imphal. The workshop was organized by Forest Department, Government of Manipur and Wildlife Institute of India, Dehradun, from the 24th of this month. Director of Wildlife Institute of India, Dehradun, B.P. Mathur and Principal Chief Conservator of Forest Manipur, Bala Prasad, signed a memorandum of understanding on conservation action plans for Manipur's bro antler deer or Sangai. An integrated approach on the last day of the workshop. Certificates and gifts were also presented to delegates and resource persons. See, the rivers, our birds, our animals don't have political boundaries. These are political boundaries created by us, these are boundaries created by men. Sangai is a Sangai channel, a Sangai festival, a staff is a Sangai, a child is a Sangai. But if we are going to 
प्रैक्टिकल लेवल पे अगर हम काम नहीं कर पाए तो वही बात हो जाएगी कि स्टिंग अगर कहीं हो गया तो इसका इसका इसकी जो जिम्मेवारी है ना सिर्फ गवर्नमेंट को है बट पूरे हमारे समाज को पूरे पूरे मणिपुर स्टेट के जो जितने भी हम लोग नागरिक हैं उनको लेना पड़ेगा सो दैट इज वेयर आई थिंक वी हैव टू टेक इट अहेड एंड आई एम श्योर वी कैन ऑल वर्क टूगेदर एज अ टीम एज Around 2,500 teachers working under Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan in the lower and upper primary schools of Manipur have threatened to launch intense agitation if their salaries for six months are not paid by the end of this month. Speaking to media persons at Manipur Press Club today, Secretary of All Manipur SSA Teachers Association Lyshram Rai Chandra said the teachers are doing their duties even when they are not paid their salaries. He said the Chief Minister and Education Minister have not. Not even given them appointment when the SSA teachers wanted to discuss the difficulties facing them. He appealed to the Chief Minister and Education Minister to translate the memorandum submitted on the 11th of this month by the end of this month. Thamathruk tolo phangdena ekhoi angang class lorga tum layu hai bese masi koi ki jee layu bhi bhaga mangi staff sing. एनी एम्प्लॉय मैम से इसा इसा थोन खादी मैं अवाब मसम हो तोलो फंग्रीबी अखोई नन प्लान हापीदी चप चाब अखोद क्लियर कट पॉइंट पीद्रगे हे नोब है डिसेबर वन अखो मनपुर लेब अपर प्राइमरी मुसन लोअर प्राइमरी टीचर खुदम सीज वर्क स्ट्राइक चतरगनी अखो क्लास लौजर रोई SH Dwijamani SP Telecom has been promoted to DIG Telecom in the Manipur Police Telecommunication Organisation. He will be on probation for a period of two years. The order issued by Dr. J. Suresh Babu, Additional Chief Secretary Home, said the appointment shall be subject to the result of a case pending before the High Court of Manipur. Acting on a tip of a team of Imphal East Police Commando arrested a cadre of Kuki National Front Nehalun Group identified as Hagen Kibgen, 30 years son of Saimang Kibgen of Sizaulan village, Saikul. He was arrested from Happy Valley, Sagolmang area yesterday. In a press release, the PRO Police Department said a case has been registered at Sagolmang Police Station and investigations are on. On the other hand, a team of Imphal East Police Commando arrested a woman cadre. of the same outfit identified as Kimbo Heng Kipkent alias Senu 28 years wife of Letkojen Kipkent of Bombal Kulen The first ever Manipur Thai business summit and business matching for the integration of Manipur into global value chain GVCs through Southeast Asian countries was held today at the Classic Grand Age in Myrong. The business summit was a part of ongoing Manipur Sangai Festival 2016 and it was organized by Manipur Chamber of Commerce and Industry in association with Office of the Commercial Affairs OCA Royal Thai Embassy New Delhi under the sponsorship of Department of tourism government of manipur as a part of the summit seven companies from thailand displayed their products for business matching addressing the gathering chief secretary onabakishore said the construction of trans asian highway is underway and once it is completed trade between manipur and thailand will flourish we have an excellent trade relationship between thailand and india very peaceful countries and uh, i am sure the business delegates coming from thailand can sit down together with uh, our uh, business delegates from manipur and they can find out the areas of cooperation so that both the parties are mutually benefited through trade and commerce As part of the business summit, several resource persons presented papers on integration of Manipur into global value chain (GVCs) through Southeast Asian countries. Speaking on the occasion, Minister Councillor Commercial Royal Thai Embassy New Delhi. Taradol Thongruang said once connectivity between Manipur and Thailand is improved, trade and commerce of Manipur will increase and more tourists will come to Manipur. Manipur also play a very important role 
compared to seven sisters that active women, Manipur is number one. I'm sure that in the near future, Manipur will play more important role than Assam when the border is exactly 100% open. When you act it, fully run full steam. So, the people in Manipur, the economic of Manipur, will grow more than Assam. No need to, the products or the connectivity, no need to come to Kolkata. 26 Awareness Come Voluntary Blood Donation Camp was held today in connection with the birth anniversary of Pandit Dindayal Upadhyay at Wankai Maihobam Lampak Lizard Library Community Hall. Life Savers Manipur and BJP Manipur Pradesh Executive Member Hareshwar Goswami organized a blood camp in collaboration with Shija Blood Bank and Transfusion Service. Around 300 persons have been provided benefits under different schemes of Government of India. A number of people donated blood at the camp. <laughs> A two-day national seminar on depression, a holistic perspective and occupational health hazards organized by College of Nursing RIMS in collaboration with ICMR concluded today. Over 200 delegates were attended the seminar. An international speaker, Radha Saini, follow UICC Geneva and independent researcher Patiala Punjab spoke on depression, its impact in medical and nursing professionals, youth chronic patients, defense personnel, elderly, caregivers and students. Professor R.K. Lenin spoke on neurobiology of depression and management of depression and Manju Singh of College of Nursing Ames spoke on depression and post-traumatic stress disorder relation. Communist Party of India Marxist Manipur State Committee has condoled the demise of Fidel Castro, the Cuban revolutionary leader and president. The party observed two minutes silence and gave revolutionary red salute to the communist leader. Communist Party of India Manipur State Council has condoled the death of the Cuban communist leader Fidel Castro. The party will fly its flag at half-mast for seven days. Manipur Heart Foundation, a unit of East West Healthcare Institute, Reims Road established in line with British Heart Foundation to provide financial assistance to poor heart patients, presented a cheque of Rs 10,000 to Chin Luang Kim, eight years, daughter of Kapmilian of New Lamka, Churachanpur district on November 16 to help her medical treatment. The check was presented by founder president of MHF, Dr. L. Shyam Kishore. Since its establishment in 2013, MHS has donated 3.6 lakhs rupees to many heart patients of Manipur. Time for a small commercial break. Lots more coming up right after this break. Stay tuned. Sangai Festival the Hang Jagadori Ba Pebet Designs Photo Studio Nagamapal Pobe Samam Lekai Dagi Adongi Apamba Potamika Lai Viduna Lucky Winner Oibiu Prizes Sing Adudi Miam Gihena Kodong Java Ying Jaraga Lupa Chamunga Amadili Sing Chapigi Not Lovzilani Late Safe Sangai Come Enjoy the Sangai Fest and please do buy products from Pebet Store Welcome back after the break and you're watching Primetime English News Unknown miscreants planted a Chinese hand grenade this morning at Jenim's Porum Pod. The bomb was discovered around 9 a.m. near the staircase on the first floor of OPD when the place was crowded with patients. Police 
Officers of Porom Park Police Station and bomb experts rush at the sport soon after they got the information and removed the grenade. Speaking to media, Janim's director, Professor Lysram Devan, appealed to those responsible to come and meet him to resolve any problem instead of creating panic among the people. He also asked for clarification. <laughs> Narva, Yetva, Wabatarva, Kamu Kayamu, say when I am a Uxil Sena, Queneseva, Togzeriva, Subat Pimpola Sedida, Kari Marimida Mukta, Akoida Karimta, Kangan Basulitana, Akoida Thread, Natrago Warning, Natro Demand, Karimba Party Matasulitia, Akoida, Kari Marimida Tambirino from Se, Tambirimi Vets now in Sina, was a shelter from Toy, Marandi, Masi Hosta, if she Miami Pussy, Kanana Livani. Masida, Shwan Lage, Nahal Lage, Awaba Tahalage, Wakan was it Habiba Narose, Kanano Karma Narose, Shendopur Yamtuna, Yam Shantona, Masida, Kanano was it any have you Shendopiro? A grocery shop caught fire this afternoon at Ngari Gali in Kwaramban Bazaar. Manipur Fire Service personnel sprung into action and prevented further damage. Apart from damaging a few items at a go down of the shop, no major damages were reported. The shop belongs to Busham Rocket, 38 years of Panglong Makong, Imphal East. Police suspect that a short circuit might have caused a fire. Voters of polling boot number 38 by 31 Arong Kunau in Hyanglam is in a meeting resolved to support Mai Bum Dhanabir. Speaking at the meeting, Mai Bum Dhanabir said no development works were performed as a Congress candidate was elected in Hyanglam. He said the negligence of the sitting MLA has caused inconveniences to the people, including non availability of drinking water, deplorable growth condition, and lack of health facilities. He said the people play an important role in eradication of corruption and asked the vote to vote for BJP for the development of the constituency. Members of local clubs and Myra Pai B organization today blocked the road at Singh Jumai Makha Sorokai Bamlekai. They said they will block the road until the authority repair the road. SYDA New Age Club and Siroi Club have earlier asked the authority concerned to repair the road in Langtabal. They said the portion of the road in Singh Jumai constituency has been repaired. Joint Secretary of Sorokai Bamlekai Myra Pai B H Shubasini said the 600 meter stretch of Sarokaibam Lakai has remained ignored. Koi lambian se panadi koi ye si le rahi jaise hi panam jam hai. Koi di le kai chhoro mapan de le bani koi lehingam de thabak se chhoro pundane azma ho re udhse le kai. Koi na mangi adha koi na aina sinja mai makhas hi pariyeng se da koi neves club ne chiroi club ne chhoro kaim le kai club ne ahum de koi meeting ta re. Taora matung da migi di hamotan de na sheng re loin mai mai jagagi koi elagagi ml di koi kamai hingi no kai do no di kang de bot mapan de di bot kombala kani si le kai kinra da chuma ki mi mi am warkar le imni iban koi bok do oira imni adu laag kai do re kai do re awat pa kai make up to kai kai masan hai bam to bani adu bohai re koi lambian se yam Two hundred and fifty two mobile battalion of the PLA attacked the twenty first Para Special Force at Sajik Tampak around nine thirty AM today. In a press note, the outfit stated that several personnel of 21st Para Special Force were killed and injured in the attack which was carried out using IEDs after the Operation Barak. But there was no injury on the side of PLA. The 25th Foundation Day of Old Manipur Tami Ching Apunbal Nupi Lop Manipur was held today at the community hall Nepra Major Pukri Mapal. Representatives of several civil society organizations and members of the Lop participated in the celebration. Floral tributes were offered to the deceased members of all Manipur Tami Ching Apunba Nupi Lop. A literary forum on children's literature and theatre in Manipur, Problems and Prospects was held today at Dave Literature Centre on DM College campus. The literary forum was organised by Saita Academy in association with 
Children Culture Center, Manipur. Members of Saiti Academy and Children Cultural Center took part in the forum. Speaking on the occasion, convener of Manipuri Language Advisory Board, Saiti Academy, H. Behari, stressed the need for organizing such literary forum in the state. A smart hotel software to be used by service providers and clients in big hotels was launched today. Databasket.co.in, based in Manipur, launched this web-based and mobile application software at the Classic Hotel, not AOC. Four U.S. polo players were also participating in the 10th Manipur Polo International and several people who are associated with hotel business attended the event. The newly launched software allows a client at a hotel to order food from the menu and many other things. Now sports news. Australia have entered the final of the 10th Manipur Polo International. In the semi-final match played today at Imphal Polo Ground, Australia beat England 6-3 to book a berth in the final. Jock McKay scored three goals, Adam Toll West two, while Bio Bundle scored one goal for the winner. Alec Banner, Eve, George Selton and Phil Seller scored one goal each for England. Last year's champion USA will play against runners-up India Team B in the second semi-final match tomorrow. SR Yairipok and YCCA Lilong Chajing won their respective match of the first YWC Cricket Trophy. In a league match played today, SR Yairipok won the toast and elected to bat first and took 113 runs for 7 wickets in 15 overs. In reply, PYC Konung Mamang were all out in 13.4 overs, taking 81 runs, only losing the match by 31 runs. In another match, YCCA Lilong Chajing beat YPWA Nambol. A Sepak Takro exhibition match was played between Thailand and Manipur at Kumanlam Park Indoor Stadium. At the match, Thailand beat Manipur 21-16 and 21-18. The match was organized by Department of Youth Affairs and Sports and Old Manipur Sepak Takro Association. Before we wrap up the bulletin, a quick look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Bobby says legal actions being initiated against arrested UNC President and Publicity Secretary. Forest Minister Hemo Chandra stresses importance of people's role in saving the mind. First Manipur Thai Business Summit and Business Matching held as a part of Sangai Festival. And Australia beat England 6-3 in 10th Manipur Polo International.